Well, I was born in the West Indies, uh, you know, uh, from the island of Nevis. Uh, and I went to school there, I was educated there, uh, complete British education. Oh. First I was a school teacher, then I, I, I worked as an accountant uh, in the agriculture department. She went to one school yeah. there. Yeah. And I went to uh, an, another, you know, St. James, the parish school. She went to a, a, a Methodist school. I went to an Anglican school, you know, because, you know, we were, were, we were invited. After the war, after, after the Second World War, you know, the devastation, and they didn't have workers, and uh, the Central Caribbean, mm -hmm. they even paid some of us our passages and so on to come here mm. uh, to work. Well, I, I, I found that I couldn't work at the at the, um, my, uh, you know, because of the racial prejudice that we had. So my first job was a bus, uh, bus, bus conductor that they, they teach you to drive. You know, I went, uh, I telephoned, they telephoned me and said, oh, Mr. Cole, Come up, the job is yours. Come up on Monday morning at nine o'clock. You know. So I dressed up in my tie and my suit and all that. And I knocked at the window. The lady, which wore, she opened the window. And I, when she saw my face, I saw the countenance change. And he says, uh, excuse me, sir, uh, I'll go in and uh, tell the, the boss you're here, you know. Anyway, she went away for a bit and she came back. Uh, the boss came out now. And he, he explained to me, really, and he said, well, Mr. Kohler cannot give you the job. It's not company policy to employ a black man. To do this job. So although you were qualified and experienced, you, you, you weren't offered the job because of being a black man. Yeah, and yeah, that's happened several times. And, you know, and after a while, I just said, well, there was a job. Uh, the buses, uh, they didn't have bu uh, conductors or anything because it's after the war. Yeah. You know, they were just building the country. And um, uh, so... I went to, and worked for the buses and so on for some time. Yeah. We went to church every Sunday because it's our custom to go to in the Caribbean and to go to church on Sundays. Yeah. You know, we mixed uh, with everybody. And, and the vicar one Sunday came up to us and he says, Excuse me, I don't mind you coming to church. But I've got a problem with my, my members because they are mourning that, uh, you know, we come to church every day. And he said to me, to us, I hope you don't come to, to church every Sunday because my members are more, my, my white members are mourning. As I said, my, my vicar, Peter Lawrence, well, the, the church members would know Peter Lawrence. Yeah. He came to visit me sometimes. Yeah. And uh, when I narrated these things to him, and uh, he said to me, Kerry, what do you think of me mm. as a white man? I said to him, Peter, you're my brother. And you know what the Lord said? You cannot love God and hate your brother. So I cannot hate you. Mm. You know, you are my brother. And that's what I what I want you to be. You're my vicar. You're my. Uh -uh.